Greetings, fellow Gorehounds, and welcome back to a Blood Splatter vlog. I'm the Horror Guru. I'm the fucking Count Jacula. And the part of Count, uh, the part of Strong Bad, will be played by Count Jacula today. I don't know, Bontella. We got a movie today, <laughs> but it ain't gonna get me no Chick Fil A. <laughs> And uh, we actually ended up watching this movie separately, but the movie we're going to talk about today is What Lies Below, which I don't know if it's a Netflix original movie, but we definitely watched it through Netflix. So it's on Netflix right now if you want to watch it for yourself. Um, and this is a really interesting movie because this is a movie that, that left me with a lot of mixed feelings. Yeah. Um, because for like the first, it's only a 90 minute movie and the first 85 minutes of it, I was pretty much hooked, line and sinker, loving it. But the last like five minutes, I felt like was missing some pieces. And as a result of that, I was a little confused. I could kind of follow what was going on, but it wasn't satisfying, if that yeah. makes sense. Yeah, the last five minutes are kind of unsatisfying. Where you're like, it, it, it's not, it's not like the last shift where like you get to the the very end of the last shift and you're like, okay, movie, fuck you. Oh yeah, it didn't completely you know? ruin the movie. It didn't make me go fuck you, movie, but it did make me go, oh well, uh, I guess. Yeah, all right. I mean, I can't give this movie a shining endorsement anymore, but I can recommend it to people that like the things the movie has in it. Yeah. Um, because that stuff is pretty cool. Um, but unfortunately, it, it is it is a bit of a bummer because I, I I was sitting there going like okay so we got like this like uh, this updated take on movies like The Stepfather where you have like the kid and their parent is now enraptured in a relationship with someone and the parent can't see that the person is kind of low key like either really weird or low key abusive. Um, and in this case, he's more weird most of the time than abusive, but the weirdness is extremely off-putting. Yeah. Like, 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 there's a point in which he like licks period blood. Like we're talking yeah. like, yeah. we're talking yeah. super weird. <laughs> um, um, and, and so like, it's a uh, normal person doesn't do that. Yeah, you know? so it's an updated take on like the classic story of, of your, your mom is enraptured in a relationship, not realizing how fucked up the person she's in a relationship is because she's doing love. You know, it's that. Yeah. But it's it's like a weird supernatural take on that. And we'll get to what the supernatural elements are in the spoiler section, because I I don't know how much of that is given away in like the promotional materials. Yeah, yeah <laughs> nah, not too much, you know. Um, but there is like supernatural elements and kind of low key Lovecraftian elements, to be honest. Um, in fact, for, for a portion of this movie, I found myself thinking of it as like a Lovecraftian himbo movie, though it's not entirely accurate a description because he's not really a himbo. He's kind of a scientist, but you know, eh, yeah, whatever. He, you know. he gives off the himbo vibes. Yeah, know? yeah, yeah. He's a really good look. He's like a good looking, well muscled guy who's like kind of awkward, it's socially awkward. And instead of like like with movies like Stepfather, the um the kind of weirdness that pops up tends to be just like like a lot of abusive stuff. In this, it's weird creepy behavior. Like there are points where you're watching early on before you kind of get to the more supernatural elements where you get the vibe that he wants to fuck the daughter. Yeah. <laughs> it's uh it's it's is pretty uncomfortable and uh, pretty weird. <laughs> Um, and the actors in this movie do a good job selling it too. Like, I feel bad that the ending is kind of disappointing because the actors do a really good job oh, selling yeah, this yeah, yeah. There's a lot of really good acting here. It's just that the kind of, I don't know, at the very end, there's a lot of story getting in the way of that movie. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. It's kind of like a scripting plotting problem. Yeah. More so than a acting or even shooting problem because this movie, like, I like the way it's shot. Like, for the first half of the movie, it's shot like, you know, a standard, like movie and then as the movie gets more and more creepy it starts to transition more into like a horror movie like lighting you have yeah some of like 80s style like neon colors and things like that and a whole lot of green because we're dealing with we're, we're dealing with water shit so there's a whole lot of blue and green yeah like well the ending the ending has this problem where you find yourself going it's been such a weird ride so far i actually need the ending to just completely make sense yeah and the and the fact that the ending leaves a lot is a lot to interpretation is unsatisfying in this particular case yeah because there are things that happen that you find yourself going i don't know why that happened yeah you know you understand what you're watching you just don't know why yeah 
You know, I, do you want to get the spoilers so we can talk about that? Well, I want to talk about what I liked first. Okay, all right, all right. <laughs> because I actually do like a good portion of this movie. Yeah, 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 me too. <laughs> it's just one of those things where, like, that ending just bugged me. <laughs> yeah, I get that. Yeah. We'll, 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 we'll get to that. We'll get to that. You guys, we will we'll get to the spoilers. But, like, you know, I liked, I liked the main character playing the kind of introverted, awkward teenage girl. I liked the mom playing the weirdly too trying way too hard to be her daughter's best friend um and her yeah. daughter just kind of wants yeah. a mom but the mom wants to but the mom's obviously going through mid 40s midlife crisis still trying to yeah. act like a teenager kind of uh thing to the point where she's even lying to her boyfriend about how old she is yeah um which is actually a plot point in the movie um and i also liked the guy he was genuinely creepy and charming at the same time it was like a, a nice little yeah, yeah. line to walk like he, he he felt he felt weird he was know? really good at like being really charming in the beginning and then watching the more charming things he had at the beginning transition into being creepy as the movie went on yeah they I, something i found out about the way the movie was shot <laughs> apparently the director had a uh, stage direction with the actor oh. where basically they shot Every, everything that was in the middle of the movie, they shot like one of four different ways. Okay. Because they had developed a barometer, which which was a one to ten on the creepometer. <laughs> it's like I need we we, get, we do a shot at one, three, seven, and then ten. And you can kind of pinpoint the points in the movie where it was at ten. And yeah, where yeah, it was yeah. At like and, the, five. and the idea was in case we have to like shuffle some of this stuff around. That makes sense. If you need to move this scene here or whatever, then then at this point it's now supposed to be at seven. Um, whereas originally, when it was over here, it was more at four. Yeah, exactly. So that, that makes exactly. sense. Exactly. So you could like they could make him more or less creepy as the pace of the movie. And seems that's to that dictate. stuff is where the movie actually oh, yeah, really excels. That's really good. That's yeah. where it actually excels is that creepy shit. And like for most people, you're probably going to be really engaged with the movie up until a certain point. And so yeah. And I, the funny thing is, the weirder shit. The, the more extreme shit is where he's more awkward than creepy. Yeah. And so, it, w w with one major exception, there's a scene in a bathroom where you're just like, uh... Oh, oh, uh, that's where the creepy's at 11. Yeah. <laughs> that's yeah. the scene where you're just like, um, okay, uh, what? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Because you're, you're sitting there going like, I don't even know what... What, what's this guy after? That was definitely one of the most tense scenes in the movie for me. Yeah. Because you're just sitting there going like, is this going to turn into psycho? Is it going to turn it? What is going to happen here? It, it definitely is creepier than something like Stepfather. Because Stepfather oh, yeah. is way more like outwardly abusive. Whereas this is a lot of like sexual creepiness happening here. Yeah. Yeah. It, it reminded, there were a lot of scenes in it that actually reminded me a bit of uh, Stoker. Oh, that's good. That is a good comparison, actually. Yeah, I, I fully endorse that comparison. Um, I also, I also like, I like, I like, I like the way it handled the gaslighty aspect of it because, obviously, given the premise of this movie, something is wrong with boyfriend. Yeah. Um, but boyfriend keeps having reasonable explanations for everything. And I thought they did a good job of handling that too, where it's just like, well, I mean, I have a sleepwalking problem. And it's like, well, yeah, you have a sleepwalking problem, but that doesn't explain why you fucking dove into the water and disappeared for fucking an hour. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> you, know, like... you know? And well, the other <laughs> thing is, is that the, the, the daughter backs off more out of fear yeah. than placation. It's I... more like, okay, I guess that's what we're going with. All right. Hell. I also like that for like the first like third of the movie, she was falling for his charms. Oh yeah. And also, uh, there's also the element that that he is a like, genuinely attractive and charming man before you get to the creepiness. So she is actually attracted to him too. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. There's a mutual attraction thing going on for a bit. But there, there is a there, there's a very specific point which I've actually already mentioned, which was the turning point of like when she's just like, no, stay away from me. Yeah. <laughs> um. Okay. So. I, I do think, like, if you like movies like The Stepfather, this is worth a watch, but do be warned that the last five minutes are going to A, throw you for a loop, and B, not really deliver what you're wanting. At least it, it didn't for us. Yeah. Um, uh, it's available currently on Netflix. I don't know if it's on other streaming platforms, but if it is, go check it out. You'll probably have to rent it on those ones, but eh, what can you do? Um, and with that said, we're going to finally move on to the spoilers, because... 
It needs to be talked about. Yeah, yeah, we can't not talk about it. All right, well, I'll go first. All right, all right. So, first big thing I'm going to talk about in the spoiler section is that I, I mentioned earlier that it's very Lovecraftian. This is fish person boyfriend movie. Yeah. <laughs> he is he is secretly some sort of like underwater fish person thing that is trying to do these weird experiments. I am guessing, but based on the dialogue to propagate the species and to make a new version of the fish people that can breathe in salt water as well as fresh water. Yeah. Um, Cause you get the impression in this movie that he is a freshwater fish person. Um, and he has this whole monologue about how lampreys can go into both fresh water yeah, and salt yeah, water. Yeah. And he's doing experiments with lampreys. So like you get this idea that like his whole goal is to propagate the species. So he's impregnating the mom and he's doing something weird with the uh, daughter because he got her this weird like fertility bracelet thing that later on like glows like weird symbols. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, and so when you get to the end of this movie, like you have big reveal, okay, weird fish person, mom's impregnated with fish baby thing. Um, but fish baby thing doesn't seem to be breathing properly in the water. So he does this weird thing where he like puts this weird light from his throat into the baby fish mo baby fish's mouth. Yeah. And I th I'm, I'm guessing that was supposed to be so it can breathe in the water properly. I don't know. Yeah. Like this is something they don't really properly explain in the movie. Like the movie does a really great job of explaining of how like, oh, he's a fish person and he doesn't like salt water because he chokes every time there's salt on his food. He he uh, um, when he when he when he actually is a fish person and tries to step in the salt water, it starts burning his feet. So he has to turn into a human and put shoes on. Um, but like some of this other stuff, like what the light that comes out of his throat is and what it's doing, yeah, is really you're like, Is he supposed to be like a deep sea fish? Because if he's a deep sea fish, that's a salt water. Yeah, yeah, that's not that's not uh, that's not fresh water, which is what the lake is. So yeah, uh, yeah. I don't know. I don't know that 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 was really weird and confusing. But the part that's super confusing is that uh, up at the first eighty-five minutes of the movie, you have the whole stepfather plot. He she basically finds out that something's weird with him. He's impregnating his his, his, uh, his mom, impregnated her mom. Mom seems to have either fallen under some weird mind control spell or is just so in love that she's blinded. Yeah. Um, it's it's not clear which one it is. Though obviously there is a point in the movie in which mom is like, ah, things are wrong. <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, like the guys set up like a laboratory in the basement, right? Yeah. And this is where he talks about the lampreys and the salt water versus fresh water and how he's trying to help some fish transition into into salt water and fresh water. Yeah, um, yeah, because the world is the the. the the Earth's like water table is salinating. Yeah, you know it's it's getting more salty. So like that's gonna be bad for freshwater fish people apparently. Yeah. And because it know? never outright it, uh, outright states it, you kind of have to piece together that that's kind of what he's trying to do to propagate his species. Yeah, but that's not the confusing part. No, the confusing part is. Uh, basically, she finds her mom in the basement. Mom gives birth to weird fish baby. Fish baby doesn't seem to be breathing properly in the water. I don't know if that's because the tank was salt water or if it's just there's something went wrong with the hybrid. I don't know. Yeah, yeah. For some <laughs> reason, the, the the this this creature can't breathe water, and I'm like, okay, maybe that has to do with why he got upset when he found out how old the mom actually was. Yeah, like something was wrong with like the, the, the with the actual combination of factors in his experiment. I don't know. Yeah, but then why kill the main character's best friend? Well, yeah, that was weird because I was sitting there going like, okay, so they just straight up killed the best friend because they found out, but like they established that there's also like multiple versions of him around town that are impregnating a bunch of women. And yeah, so all of them have red hair for some reason. So I'm like, okay, well, why didn't she, why was the daughter just, what, what was the best friend? Just like, I, I hate to say it. The best friend was, was a person of color. What, are the fish people just racist? Yeah. <laughs> like, like it, was, it was a question. <laughs> like, are they just racist? Like, like it was she's a question. Not, she's not worthy of impregnating too. I don't know. Well, like one of the things, one of the things that they established is that for some reason, the, the this fish man, Pre these fishmen prefer redheads so much so oh, that they can detect that's what that was about okay yeah. good point so much so that they can detect 
whether someone has red hair, even if that hair is color. Oh shit, that makes, okay, that makes a little bit more weird. It's, I don't understand why it's in the movie, but that makes a little bit more sense why they had that whole scene at the beginning about coloring their hair. Yeah. And then later he says like, ah, oh, you got some red some in your red hair. In your hair. Yeah. Okay, I had not put that together. All right. Yeah, All right. and it's one of those weird things where you're just sort of like, was that like, was that like humans with red hair are somehow more compatible or something? I guess. I, is it because the, the queen and Aquaman had red hair? Like, I, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, what the fuck is going on? Maybe, maybe there's something I'm just missing myth mythology wise here about red yeah, hair and sea bear. They never bugging you. Is it like Ariel? Ariel? Like uh, mermaids? I don't know. Is it an Ariel reference? I don't know. I'm not sure. The movie never fucking explains that part. But, th but here's the part that gets really confusing is that she, she frees her mom after the mom gives birth to the baby fish thing. We don't really see what happens to the baby fish thing. The last thing we see is that he puts some weird light in it in the baby fish's mouth. Yeah. Um, um, and we're not quite sure why or what that does. But like he ends up catching catching her and the mom, and then the then the main character wakes up in like a basement. Um, we're not sure which basement, because it's definitely not the basement that we've been seeing for the yeah, rest yeah, of the yeah. movie. It's definitely a new basement. Um, and then a whole bunch of like Clones of the main uh, uh, of the boyfriend, which are obviously other fish people, just wearing the same skin suits, um, come down and start breaking down the walls. And there's like dead bodies of women in the walls. And I was confused at that too, because I'm like, okay, all right. So I'm guessing these are the women that you've been impregnating. And after you you've gotten your fish babies, you've you've like hid their bodies in the walls. Okay, but. That doesn't explain why you're now smashing the walls and yeah. like, revealing them yeah. for no reason. Yeah, you're like, why are we smashing the walls and revealing them? Like, uh, is it just to scare her? Like, yeah. why, why are you doing that? Because that seems to be the only purpose for it. Um, and and then uh, and then like he comes in and he does more creepy sexual things like touching her lips and stuff like that. But then he does that red that that blue light that he did to the fish baby. He does to her. And then she wakes up in like a triangle water tank underwater. And then it like pulls out, revealing a whole bunch of other women that seems to have drowned in same tank. Yeah, they're either, they're either drowned or hibernating. Or yeah, it's, it's hard to tell because they're like covered in like what either looks like crystallis or bubble wrap. I wasn't yeah, sure which. Yeah, yeah, and, and, and the thing is, is that the main character is not, which seems weird. Yeah, yeah. So I was like, okay, what's going on there? And then like... I think she's, the indication is she starts breathing underwater, but it's hard to tell because it happens so fast. Yeah. And then she smiles and then it cuts to black. And I'm like, wait, what just happened? Yeah. <laughs> what just, it's, it, okay. Yeah. Okay. All right. All right. All right. All right. If I put on my thinking hat, then, all right. So they were trying to groom her to be a fish hybrid too. When did that start? Did that start with the fertility bracelet and the weird symbols on her? And also... Why the impregnating thing if you're doing this experiment? Like, I'm well, not- they, All right, so the, 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 the bracelet I kind of got because it's kind of like tagging. Well, yeah, I got it when it was a you fertility know. bracelet because I thought that the, his, the, I thought it was gonna end with him trying to impregnate her too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, because that seemed like the natural place to go. We're giving you this weird fertility place bracelet and now you've got these weird symbols on you. And I thought like the reveal was gonna be that he did this to the mom too at some point and that's why she fell under his spell. Yeah, and like, and, and she does have the same like symbols on her face yeah. at one point. But um, he does indicate that like we don't have enough time right now. So maybe that was the direction they were going, but he decided to speed up the process by turning her into a fish person. I guess. Like it's that weird. was the other thing. What was the what was the ticking clock here? Yeah, it, you know, it's like I get that the ticking clock is like climate change, but like that's not a ticking clock you got to worry about in a matter of hours. Yeah, I, I love the climate change aspect, but man, I was I was that in the end, I'm like, is that what, why you don't have much time right now? Because apparently you had enough time to do like this fucking like. Six yeah, we did this whole like fucking six months <laughs> song and dance yeah. and the mom. Why is it? Why? Why are we on on a crunch timetable now? I'm, I'm like, oh, oh man, yeah, it's like, it, 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 sometimes a movie leaves you with a lot of questions at the end and it's a good thing, and sometimes it leaves you with a lot of questions at the end and it annoys you. And, yeah. And this one yeah, kind this of one, annoyed me. Yeah, this one was really annoying. Because it felt like a teaser for the next episode. But yeah. there is no next episode. Yeah, but there is no next episode. It's a movie. <laughs> you know? You know? Like, and where are you going to go from here? And it also tried to have that kind of good for her, like, midsummer style ending. But, like, it's not good for her. 
Um, <laughs> well, not unless you explain why it's good for her. It's A, not good for her, and B, like, that smile comes out of fucking nowhere. Is she, is she supposed to have fallen under, under the spell now? Because up until she smiled, she was just fucking struggling, and it, it's like a split-second smile, too, so it, like, barely registers. Yeah, and the fact... And, and here's the weird thing. Now, the fact that you can suddenly breathe water, which is what we think it's implying... That's another problem. I because... think it's implying that, but it's hard to fucking tell. Yeah, yeah, but 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 let's just 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 take that as given. I even tried looking up what other people's interpretation of the ending was, and most most people seem to think that it was to breathe underwater. So I, I feel like we are reading that right. Or if not, then everyone's reading it wrong. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. If we're reading it wrong, then like everyone's got the yeah. same wrong impression. But like the real problem is this. What? Well, why? Yeah. Like, 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 let me put it this way. It's not like, here is a person who has to overcome, like, a major emotional trauma that has to deal with <laughs> drowning. Yeah. Or something like that. It's just sort of like, oh, she can breathe water now. Okay. That would have been what? good. That would have been good if she was actually scared of the water because she drowned once when she was a kid or something. That would have been good because then at the end, that would have been, like, a really interesting... Twist now, yeah, yeah, yeah. Person. yeah, 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 um, like, that, you know that what becomes it, the story. You know, you know what it felt like? It felt like someone really liked the ending of of um, the Shape of Water, but didn't understand what built up to that ending. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, it's like yeah, because at the end when that woman just sort of randomly turns out she's a fish woman, you're just like, okay. You just sort of get it. You just sort of like, sure, cool. The, the ending that makes sense for this movie is she wakes up in that basement and then basically finds out that, like, yeah, we're going to impregnate you. We're going to continue our species and there's nothing you can do about it. And either she escapes or she's trapped there. That's the yeah. That's the proper ending to the way this movie played out. Um, the, the, the weird... She's now turning into a mermaid, I guess, but we're not going to do anything other than indicate maybe she's breathing underwater. Um, like yeah. if, you, if you gave her like she's like formed a tail or something like if it pulled out and she had a tail <laughs> yeah 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 that would at least have been like kind of funny I might have been on board more if that happened <laughs> okay that's another thing um my other inter my other complaint with this movie is that even though I liked the first 85 minutes I was bummed we never got a full view of fish monster yeah yeah that was another problem we get like fish feet fish hands um, we get the fish roar. Um, we get the baby fish monster in his arms, but we never get like what he fully looks like in fish form, and that was a little bu that was a bummer for me. That's yeah, funny. yeah, and and, and and for for some reason there was a moment where like his he had fish feet, but the rest of him was human. Yeah, like, yeah, that moment like, where his foot. Point of that, like. Uh, I, why, okay, it's especially made less sense because the basement at that point was covered in the water that she threw the salt in. So I didn't quite understand. Yeah, you're like, why did he take his boots off? Yeah, yeah. You know, like, that doesn't make any sense. Like like I said, this movie's a pretty pretty solid thriller, but then you get to that last fucking five minutes or so, and... And and maybe, may, and maybe it's a different dude, different one of the dudes, but... That's a possibility a, since there's, like, multiple ones around town. Yeah, but that, like, that... That's just, yeah. it's, it's not established very well. Uh, it's annoying because like I, I can piece together some things that make some of this make sense, but like I feel like I'm doing all the work. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, you know. I feel like yeah, we're doing all the guesswork, and there's never gonna be an answer. Exactly. You know, like so we're just sitting here going like, look, I'm trying movie, but like. I think you're making me work way too hard for this. I think you have really cool ideas here. Like, I feel like if you had ended with the proper ending of we're going to impregnate you or whatever, and then made, like, a sequel that went into them, like, returning and trying to create fish hybrid things, like, yeah. the other way. Okay, all right, I'd be down for that. You could even have the same main character show up. But, like, trying to, like, throw that in at the last five minutes felt like... Oh, the, yeah. Also, there was another thing I wanted to ask you. Okay, so yeah. that scene when she accidentally drives the car into the lake. Oh yeah, yeah, where she forgot to put the brake on, so it just slides yeah, yeah, in the so water. Yeah, so it just slides in the water. Okay. Oh yeah, that What the fuck is that big reveal music? Yeah, that there's a weird moment where she accidentally, like, uh, she, she uh, gets out of the car, but she forgot to put the brake on, so the car just kind of rolls into the fucking water. And she freaks out, and then she gets in the car and tries to turn it on, but then she like sees something, gets out of the car, and there's like this wide shot um, with its dramatic music, but like, 
you don't see anything. Yeah. So you're not sure what the what the dramatic music is for. Like it kind of looks like there's like a weird triangle in the water, but you don't really get a yeah, good look at it. Yeah, but it's really not enough of anything. I'm like, is there, like, is there a house in the water? What what is that yeah. supposed to be? <laughs> yeah. Like, is a house in the water? Is a spaceship? Yeah. A fishman ship? What the fuck is that? That's it? another reason why the last five minutes is really frustrating because I was expecting that the last five minutes were going to show us whatever that was. Yeah. You know, like. You like know, maybe it was gonna pull back and that was gonna, gonna be like a <laughs> temple underwater yeah. or some shit. Yeah. You know? Yeah, there wasn't like it this required either something to make a lot more obvious sense mm -hmm. or to have a much bigger payoff. Yeah. Yeah. Or, or at least like if it, if it wanted to go like like the void route. Yeah, exactly. Have... We're just like okay, now we're just standing <laughs> under a gigantic black hovering pyramid. Yeah, like I don't. Like that's at least kind of that's at least buck wild. I don't mind endings, especially if you're going the Lovecraft route, where you go completely psychedelic in the end. I'm fine with that because then at that point it's supposed to be a mind fuck. Yeah. Um, but this one was annoying because. Up until the ending, it was actually being a very smart thriller that was giving you these little pieces, a little pieces of information. And it was all coming back, like him choking on the sodium, him not wanting to drink the soda, and then like, like her, her dumping the, the salt on her on him. Yeah, like th that stuff. The, all those pieces connected in really great ways, and they, there was a setup, there was a payoff, and all that stuff. And then you get to the end, and you're just like, well, this doesn't feel like. I don't feel like you did the proper work to set this up. Yeah, like you put pieces here, but they're not enough to. To, to make me go, oh, that makes sense. They, they they instead make me go, oh, that was what that was leading up to? Like, yeah, yeah, or, or but like, God, sorry, the busting open the walls. I don't- Why are we doing this? Are you trying to, like, are you guys gonna like, dispose of the bodies further? Cause like, I I feel like building those walls just to tear them down when she's there. I don't know, like that's what I was Yeah, what's even, what's even going on? And like, the thing is, okay, we're trying to make fish people hybrids. Okay, what? about stealing the daughter helps make and makes that happen yeah it's like well should i mean i mean i don't want to be like look i don't want to be advocating rape or anything but wouldn't raping her just make a lot more sense well like i said <laughs> that that okay as fucked up as it is that would have been the proper ending to this movie is that we're gonna impregnate you two now um, and you could even do the whole like we don't have time, so I can't put you under the spell that we put the uh, put your mom under. So we just gotta have to do it fast and dirty. And 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 here's the thing: if they had done that, and then had her have to break out of that situation, and then like break out of the room and find out she's in some weird underwater temple or something like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fine. I would have been like, fuck yeah, let's <laughs> let's do this. Um, but the way it went just was really unsatisfying and left more questions and answers and not in a good way. Yeah, it's really too bad because the movie had a lot of promise. It did, it did. Like I said, the first 85 minutes are a pretty intense and suspenseful, like stepfather style movie thriller with a fish monster. Yeah, everything le everything right up to the point where she's actually captured and knocked out is yeah. great. Yeah. The minute she wakes up in that chair is when the movie starts falling apart. Yeah, that, that's when the movie starts starts progressively shitting the bed over the last five minutes. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and you're just like, I don't know why any of this is happening, and I don't know what any of this has to do with the guy's yeah. plot. Like, maybe, maybe there's another cut of this movie that will have some scenes that will make that ending more satisfying, but as it stands... Man, that was is that ending a bummer? <laughs> yeah, yeah, and not because it's like a downer ending, just because you're just like, oh, man. I, I'm fine with downer endings. Like I fucking yeah, it's just disappointing. Yeah, you know, you know, like I, I fucking give thumbs up on this channel all the time to downer endings. It's not the downer part. It's it's the uh, satisfying storytelling part. Yeah, you know. Yeah, and it really just this. Oh God, like I I I, I my brain is obsessing on it, and it, in that way that it obsesses on things that it knows has no answer. Mm -hmm. You're like trying to find the piece of the puzzles, but there's pieces of the puzzles that are deliberately withheld from you. Um, and and even when you put it together, the puzzle altogether doesn't look as good as you were hoping. Yeah, it, it, yeah, it, it, it's it's still missing a few pieces and any pieces that could be filling <sighs> it don't look like they're filled with too much promise anymore. Yeah. You know, so like, look, I'm not saying it's, look, the it, it based, I'm not saying it's aliens, but it's aliens. And like, that's kind of the answer. 
<laughs> well, it's, inter it's, it's interesting because like um, I actually like woke up today and Jack had watched the movie last night. Um, and he is like, like, hey, could you watch this movie for me? I have some like mixed feelings on it. I want to get your thoughts on it. I'm yeah. like, okay. So I threw on the movie and started watching it. Um, and for like like the first 85 minutes, I'm like, man, I don't know what Jack was so mixed on with this. Like, I'm I'm really digging this. And then the last five minutes happened. I'm like, oh, okay, I get it now. <laughs> yeah. Like, so this, <laughs> yeah. So like the fact that we both independently watched the movies and came to like very similar conclusions and I, I was so will I was so ready to just go like nah you're crazy man. <laughs> well, I was hoping that like, I was like you're either gonna agree with me or you're gonna notice the one thing that's that gonna makes make this fucking make sense. Well, because of the mixed feelings things, I was paying extra attention to the movie, and as a result of that, I think I was appreciating a lot of the early stuff a lot. But that did mean when I got to the ending and it didn't satisfactorily come together, I, w I was extra annoyed. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> You know, yeah, because I, I spent so much time extra paying attention to everything and I'm just like, wait, hold on. Like, OK, so the only real indications of this ending are the bracelet thing, but it was a fertility bracelet. So I assumed you were tr you were going to try to impregnate her, too, you know? Yeah, like that was the plan or that was the idea. And maybe that is the idea at the end. And that's what them all crystallize. Is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like. But, but it doesn't track with what they did with the what mother. What the fuck is going on? Yeah. <laughs> Why all this song and dance over here? You know, it's like, oh man, it's, 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 it's that thing where it's like, your plot is fish people trying to impregnate a human it's, women. It's basically the A25 version of humanoids from the deep, okay? Yeah. Fish people trying to impregnate human women to propagate their species and to create saltwater fish people. Okay, got it. Um... I think the weird fish person hybrid breathing underwater thing at the end uh, is is just one step too far for this short movie. <laughs> yeah, like I, there's another fish people movie that had some similar stuff, but it, it to me in my mind it, it just went in a much better direction. Mm -hmm. Called uh, Blue B L U E My Mind. Mm. That's what that girl finds out. She girl finds out she's turning into a mermaid now. Why is this happening? That's never answered because it's not relevant to the story. Yeah, it's just the fact that it is. Happening. Yeah, it's stories about it happening. Yeah. And I just look, I'm trying to figure out like a million things here. I'm trying to figure out why trying to figure out why certain things are done the way they're done mm -hmm. that does not equate to because we thought it was creepy in the script which is probably the answer to be honest yeah i'm, I'm sure I, it is I, it's I, just I, like oh come on the, the the ending of this movie felt like an idea that happened and like 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 it feels to me like an idea that like someone threw out and it's like oh there's a really cool idea and they liked it but i i don't think they did enough work to really weave it into the rest of the movie. yeah 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 they need to kill that darling yeah you know because it was it was it, it was still born you know kudos to the actors in this movie though because i still liked all oh, those performances fuck yeah. Like, yeah fuck yeah the actors even, are amazing even at the end when i'm like okay what the hell's going on like him being creepy and like touching her lips and shit that shit was still making my like like oh, shivers yeah. down my spine i'm it's like so oh skin crawly and you it's know? funny because like the charm he had earlier at that point is just completely replaced with just pure ah. fucking skin crawling. Urgh. Well, like the fact that, okay, so the, the, that man, that fucking shower scene where he picks up her clothes oh. and smells it. And it's covered in her period blood too. Okay, that was another thing yeah. that, that, that actually confused me for a second because she, she, she apparently, apparently starts menstruating on this boat that they're on. And he quickly grabs like his shirt and like puts it there to stop the blood from flowing. Um, but then there's like a quick shot of like one of the eels like fucking like flopping around. And I wasn't sure if it was that she was having her period blood at first or if the eel had bit her. Yeah, yeah, it, yeah. But then later on, she says to her friend that that it was she was on her period. And I'm like, okay, all right. Now that that, make, that makes sense now, though. The eel thing I'm now confused at was like the eel just attracted to the blood. Yeah, uh, and, like maybe it, was it just there? I mean, obviously know. he was because he fucking licks that shit. And you're like, yeah. what the fuck? And I'm like, okay, so he's a fish man who likes to drink. So I guess he's like a leech man or something. I think that was the idea. And that actually makes it more disappointing that we didn't get to see his fish form because it would have been really fucking cool if it pulled back and showed his face and it was like an eel fucking like suction yeah, face. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Yeah, it's some sort of weird fucked up predator sucker face. That would have been you know? really cool. That would get like a Greg Nicotero or someone on that and just. Yeah, yeah, yeah. At least, <laughs> at least give us Leech Man from X Files or something. You know, I'm not saying that was the best. I'm just saying, hey, it's something. So the long and short of it is, is what lies below has a very disappointing ending. Yeah. Um, it, now that you're warned of the ending, you might be able to tolerate it better because like the first 85 minutes are pretty thrilling. And if you're a person who just wants to watch every movie with a fish monster in it, go for go it. Go for it. Yeah. <laughs> um, um, it's, it's not the worst one. It's not the worst one. That's the thing. It's not the worst Even one. Even with the ending, it's not the worst movie. It's just a disappointing ending is kind of where yeah. I'm at with it. Yeah, like this is probably actually going to be a really good uh, movie for film students to really go over. Oh, because yeah. Because it does a lot of the really good basics of a thriller extremely well. Oh, yeah. It, it follows it just so well and adding the little supernatural elements here and there to like switch it up so it's not just stepfather all over again really works. Yeah. It's also weird that there's so much visual foreshadowing for what happens. Oh, man. Yeah. You know, you're like, so you're like, it, because the movie's so good at I know, doing that. I know. I know. Because like the, the, okay, the last five, okay, you have the first 85 minutes, but then the last five minutes of that all the pieces from earlier on in the movie all come back together there. You get like the salt, you get like the uh, the impregnation and all that shit. All that shit comes together. Even the foreshadowing of her being underwater. Yeah, all that yeah. stuff. It comes comes back really well, which is what makes the last five minutes so baffling. <laughs> yeah, because you're just like, why are these people in the walls? Why are they breaking the walls down? Where are they going? Where are they taking people? Are they taking them underwater? What the fuck is happening? And why are we in such a rush? Yeah, are, are those bodies underwater with her the bodies from the walls are they different are they the town's daughters what's going on yeah like do they just are there two levels of fucking fish hybrids like I, redheads and squid babies and i will say yeah, this uh, it's know. not just us because i actually looked up to see what like some people's thoughts on the movie were after i watched it and a lot of people seem pretty much thrown for a loop from the ending for the ending like it's it's most people really like the movie except the ending so yeah yeah and we're st certainly not exceptions no not in you this know. case all right so with all that said um where can they find you count Jackula? oh you can find me on twitch count underscore jackula you can find me on twitter jack satan wave and you can find me on instagram satanic jackula uh i stream every i stream throughout the week so follow my YouTube channel, follow me on Twitch, and I just, uh, uh, it, it broke it, his brain. Yeah, this movie, like, yeah, no, this fucking movie shattered. It's that thing where you're trying brain. to, you're, 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 you're like the computer who was, who was just given, like, the, uh, the contradiction, and you're trying to, like, calculate it, but your brain's frying. As you're yeah, like... <laughs> I stream every Thursday from 6 p.m. <laughs> To whenever. Wait, <laughs> hold on. Fuck. Oh my god, no. Like, like <laughs> fucking. No, no. There's a fucking fish baby, like, fucking taking a shit in my head right now. <laughs> I got a serious case of fish baby poo brain. All right. How is the best of us? Try, all right, I'll try again. I stream every Thursday and Sunday at 6 p.m. Pacific Standard Time on Twitch at count underscore Jacula. Follow me there. I also stream here on YouTube, so follow my channel. There'll be a link in the description below. If you want to follow me on Twitter, it's Jack Satan Wave. And I'm really sorry that, unlike you, <laughs> I no longer get to be like, nah, it's just all one thing, baby. Yeah, yeah. Social media has not been kind to Jack, No, no. The last year has not been, social media has not been kind to me. So y'all know me, I'm the Horror Guru. You can find me at the Horror Guru on Twitter, on Twitch, on Facebook, on YouTube. Just look up the Horror Guru or Blood Splattered Cinema and I'll be there. I don't know why I mentioned YouTube. You're already here, but that, that's that's how tired apparently we are today. Yeah. And as per usual, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and don't forget to ring that notification bell so you're notified of my videos immediately upon their upload. And if you would like to help out our channels more directly, be sure, be sure to check out our Patreon pages. And remember, if you decide to go the Patreon route, even a dollar a month can go a long way. And with all that said, um, I'm going to end this vlog with this. Um, if you're wondering why I didn't mention the Harrison Ford movie, What Lies Beneath, in this entire vlog, I mentioned it now. Wait, there's a Harrison Ford movie called What Lies Beneath? Yep. Is 
It's not about fishmen, I take it. No, it's like a it's like a relationship thriller. Oh. With like I think I if I remember I remember seeing that movie when I was a kid, but it's like got ghosts. Oh yeah. Now I'm starting to remember it. Yeah. Yeah. It's not that good. No. 